Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Do you know there's a better way to experience music today? Why, yes, I do. Campfire Audio makes top-notch quality earphones for music lovers alike. Whether you're a musician, producer, or audiophile, Campfire has the perfect product for you. Campfire Audio springs from a passionate focus on refined audio reproduction. With a small team of highly skilled and dedicated craftspeople, they continuously experiment with materials and techniques to create something unique and special for the people who care most about it. Prototypes turn into a world-class earphone. Each model in their earphone line is designed and assembled by hand in Portland, Oregon's workshop. Their earphones are second to none in performance and finish. With their new plastic models, Satsuma and Honeydew, Campfire Audio has designed a day-to-day -day earphone for the audiophile on the go. But let's not forget its flagship model, Andromeda, an award-winning industry standard. Rest assured that when you purchase a Campfire Audio earphone, you're the proud owner of a world-class product from a company that is confidently standing behind everything it creates. That's right. Check out campfireaudio.com for all your high-end earphone needs. That's Campfire Audio, C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-A-U-D-I-O.com for all your high-end earphone needs. I'm doing that immediately. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Guess what? Our favorite sponsor is back. Oh, it's the Puzzle Dude from Unidragon. Hey, you know, everyone faces a problem. What gift to choose? What to give a friend or parent? How about that wife or husband? Or what about that child or even that colleague at work? I know what you need to get them. What's that? A uh, wooden puzzle. Wooden puzzles like Unidragon solve this problem. Get the what? owl. Why do people love Unidragon puzzles? Because each piece has a unique shape. Mike, do you know that Unidragon now has nature puzzles? All right, we need more owls. Now they're small, medium, king size, and royal size. So you can get seven times bigger than the standard puzzle. So if you want to get upgraded in your puzzles, now's the time to go to Unidragon.com. Again, that's Unidragon.com. Don't be fooled by other imitation puzzle makers. Only get your true puzzle from Unidragon.com. They're the best, and they're the world's leader in wooden puzzles. Tech Time listeners, use promo code DRAGONTECH. Again, that's DRAGONTECH for a 10% discount code. They're no longer three sizes, Mike. Guess how many they are now? They're four sizes. That's right. They're four sizes. Make sure to visit techtimeradio.com forward slash sponsors and click on the order now button to go directly to Unidragon. Our number one sponsor says thank you. That's awesome. We need more owls. Coming to you from the shores of the Pacific Northwest, keeping you up to date on technology, while enjoying a little whiskey on the side with leading edge topics along with special guests to navigate technology in a segmented stylized radio program. The information that will make you go, hmm, pull up a seat, raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. Welcome to Tech Time Radio oh, with Nathan man. Mum, the show that makes you go, hmm, technology news of the week. The show for the everyday common person with full, insightful it, signal. It, it. Ins <laughs> insight Don Phonics work for you. <laughs> insightful <laughs> segments on subjects weeks ahead of the mainstream media. Today is a big day here, Mike. Well, once we yeah, get I a know. little bit into the show, I'll have to put on my jacket because we have the Lace Awards, our 2021 Award show for streaming entertainment we're excited about. We also have uh, back to school items to be talking about. We got some new technology items that are coming up, and then we have our next door neighbors here that is going to be a great story in our top five uh -huh. stories. So that should be really fun. Yeah. All right. Welcome to our show. If you're watching us live from 4 to 6 p.m. on Saturdays, you're watching us in studio. You can watch us on Tech Time uh, Radio.com. You can go to YouTube forward slash Tech Time Radio. You can go to Twitch TV forward slash Tech Time Radio, and then you can also tweet us, and uh, we will read your comment on the air on Twitter. Now, if you're catching us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not 4 to 6 p.m., and Sunday, you're catching a rebroadcast. So hopefully, you go to TechTimeRadio.com, because if you're only catching one hour of the show, you may miss the second half of the Lace Awards, or if you catch the second hour and miss the other hour, Go to TechTimeRadio.com on Sunday afternoons. All of the shows are reposted up there, and you can watch them in all of their glory or listen to them on our podcast. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> are, are you excited about today? Yeah. Uh, I, I, he's I, very I excited. Yeah. You always love when we dress up the studio, uh, don't you? I love watching you 
<laughs> trying to decorate like a bat out of hell. <laughs> it's got, the scramble drill. Yeah. Yeah. We only got so much time here, so we got to be as I know, and you were late. I was late. I had, I had to stop at uh, <laughs> stop a location <laughs> to get some cards there. And, and I was there was the traffic l- problems. I know, and there's construction out here. What the heck was going on? Poor people. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I'm glad that we are here. And you know what? I'm glad that we're going to start off our show with the loaded question of the day for you, Mr. Gordet. Okay, what is it? Okay, what is a lame theme for a party? <laughs> no. An awards an awards dinner? <laughs> what? what this is fantastic. <laughs> How did we get that one to be pulled up here? That is literally what it says there. You think I, I'm just joking, I right? I see that. That's okay. So a lame theme for lame a party. Lame theme for a party is a, an, an award, award show. An award show. Except for the lace show though, right? <laughs> sure, why not? That's right. The lace show is fantastic. Yeah. It's superlative and first rate. Superlative. Superlative. That's Superior. that comes How about so, that? That comes from have you ever seen uh oh it's not Mr. Destiny, but it's uh, taking care of business. You ever see that movie? Well, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago <clears throat> movie, but in there he gets the file of facts book, right? It has uh-huh. all these powerful words. Superlative was yeah, one power of those words. words. That's yes. right. Yes, your your resume power words. That's right. Remember back in the day? I used to get emails back in the 90s, which we're going to be talking about on the show today with our Microsoft in the 1990s. Um, that was a power word of the day also. And so I'd read that and I'd be like, ooh, that yeah, was that's, cool. Yeah, that, that's the same thing as, uh, you know. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. We'll That's like shooting fish up. in the barrel, That's low like, hanging yeah. fruit, all yeah. those power words. You're like, okay, whatever. All right. All right. Well, we got a two hour show today. We got lots of Mission stuff planned. statements and all that stuff. Yep. Well, guess what? T Mobile has failed to keep its customers safe. You know what? How is Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter securing Afghan accounts? We're going to be talking about that. And which car manufacturer is teaming up with ATT to launch 5G connected vehicles? All that is going to be in our top five stories. In the first five minutes. And after that, we're going to our back to school segment, mm-hmm. which would be very, very interesting. We actually ended up purchasing three laptops last night on the on the special. So, Did I'll, you? so I'll go through and, and tell you which one of those special items were purchased and what the best items to get for your back to school deals. We also are going to have the first half of our 2021 Lace Awards. We got Mike's Mesmerizing Moment and we got our Whiskey Tasting. On the second hour, we got our letter segment. We have what Microsoft was like back in the 90s and the continuation of our 2021 Lace Awards. Are you ready to get things rolling today? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) All right. Let's start out with our very first segment then. What's happening in the world of technology? This is our top stories in the first five minutes. All right. Welcome to our top stories in the first five minutes. Story number one, T-Mobile. Our buddies. Data hack, literally right across the street. I can throw a uh, stone and it would hit them immediately. You know that? So yeah, t- they're right there. They are. So T-Mobile data hack exposed over 54 million people to a great risk of fraud, and maybe the largest risk ever in the United States. Uh-oh. Branch of T-Mobile US Inc. allowed hackers to steal information of about 54 million people and have them available for sale as digital fraudsters and identity thefts have them on the black market right now. Is it fair to say that they allowed the hackers to do that? Well, I think they did because they had some real shoddy security in place. But you know what? They have a great company that they uh, consult with to do all of their... Oh, no. Oh, yes, absolutely. (laughs) Is it FireEye? It is FireEye. (laughs) Let me just tell you, if you want the worst people to to give you information about security, you just hire FireEye, and they can then come on in and help your security be breached. This is just a beautiful story. I told you I was going to go off on this story. Remember when we talked about that? Yeah, you did. I did. So here we go. The company revealed the hardware ID numbers... And your SIM card numbers, which is essentially the identity of how you make calls, have all been breached. Over 100 million customers, including driver license information, EMI numbers, and more, have been taken out there. The FCC already announced an investigation into the incident, and at least one class action lawsuit has been filed against T-Mobile, calling it irresponsible and promised uh, to take full legal action. T-Mobile said that we're going to come on out and help you with two years of identity theft protection to help all of our customers that may have been impacted from this. I received a text last so, night on my phone. So they're going to help you with identity theft, huh? When they're the ones. Yeah, so, that- so you get, okay, let me, T-Mobile, let me just, here, here you go, T-Mobile. First of all, if you want to fix anything, fix your T-Mobile Tuesdays. That is the worst promotional thing ever. There used to be some good free items. So if I, you have I a don't T- know what that is. So what if you have it? a T-Mobile phone, 
Uh-huh. You get free gifts on on Tuesday. Oh, okay. And you're supposed to. They used to be pretty good, like twenty five dollar gift card to uh, res, uh, uh, restaurants dot com, a bunch of other stuff. But guess what happened? It's gone down the tube in the last yeah. year. That's, and that's expensive. So they don't do anything nice about that. And now they're letting our data be available for everybody to breach. I paid five dollars to find my data. It was on there. My social security number was on there. My old driver's license was on there, and, and I could. Uh, I actually had a great, excellent rating in T-Mobile. There was a little rating thing where they had mm-hmm. this rating that T-Mobile rated us, so they rated us an ex- excellent customer. Well, that's good. So that was, that was you're kinda, gonna, you're, I think that's going to change after today. It may, it may <laughs> have. So if you have a security breach or and you have T-Mobile as your service, make sure you go to T-Mobile.com and stay up to date on all the latest information. And if there's a class action shoot, suit that happens, all you have to do is Google class action T-Mobile and you can sign up to be a part of that. Not that I would encourage anybody to do that, but Did you, you? you absolutely can sign up for it. All right, moving forward. <laughs> Story number two now, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. What are they doing to secure accounts against Afghan Taliban insurgents? Very interesting. They have actually, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn have secured accounts so that the Afghan citizens are no longer able to see their friends and connections. So think about this, right? We had a big story that's happening. Uh, U.S. troops pulled out, Mm -hmm. right? The Taliban came on in and and took over. exactly what they did the last time. They they took over the country, and what they're doing is they're going house to house, looking at people, trying to see if there's any insurgents that are not loyal to the Taliban in Afghan. Um, So what Twitter has done, Specifically, is they've disabled accounts. So if you had a Twitter account over there, you're not going to have any information. You can't see what's going on. You can't tweet out to anything, but nobody can find any connections mm-hmm. or see any of your Twitter information that you have posted <clears throat> in any of that region. So if you posted something like Go USA or something like that, then that will not be posted itself. Instagram rolled out a pop up alert that said um, with a series of tweets how to protect your account. And LinkedIn specifically has removed all of the connections and has temporarily hidden anybody that is in Afghanistan or surrounding areas to see LinkedIn connections. So Facebook and Twitter are doing some really serious stuff. And Instagram Instagram's like, hey, you're on your own, but here's what you need to do. They kind of did that, (laughs) and and LinkedIn did a great job also. So What did did LinkedIn do? So LinkedIn just, uh, they've temporarily hidden the connections. Oh, okay. So if I go on in and you're a connection of mine and, and I'm in the Afghanistan Area, so that's probably I, I would expect probably a country surrounding that also, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they essentially have all of the accounts hidden at this time. Well, so now, good. if you really wanted to do social media in those areas, you're kind of hosed right now, right? Because yeah. you can't do anything. But if you did have well, social media and you posted go something, Instagram. that's right, that's correct. All right, five minutes. Thank you, David. Our last story, story number three: General Motors and AT and T are teaming up to launch five G connected vehicles. Uh oh. Uh oh! So, so now you're going to breach now, in. Now it, the aliens are going to be in my car. That's right. General Motors is partnering with AT and T to launch 5G connected vehicles over the next decade. The update aims to provide better connectivity, helping users navigate routes, uh, get email, get updates faster, and have uninterrupted streaming, which what, is the number one concern. So if I'm in my car and I'm streaming a movie while I'm driving to work, it's going to work. <laughs> I think it's is streaming that... music. I don't <laughs> oh, think okay. it means movies. I, I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it means streaming okay. services. I don't know, though. I guess you could stream a movie, right? Back in the old no. days when I had my old uh, RCA plugins with my old VCR, remember the VCR oh, yeah, entertainment yeah. systems well, yeah, you know. for your car vehicles? You could actually watch uh, a movies as you go. I used to have an yeah. RV that we used to come in. I, and, yeah. and, and I, I, used to I, watch I get behind people in their kid mobiles and they're watching their Disney movie. They're watching their like, Disney hey, movie. that's cool. It is kind of cool. You're watching back there. You're like, hey, that's the little mermaid. But I, I know I can't watch videos while my car is in drive. Um, yeah, I can't I've tried either. it. Uh, you've tried it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it looks at if you have a 4G system currently right now and it was purchased in 2019 or newer, mm-hmm. they will give you a free 5G upgrade. Okay. If you buy your car in 2018 and you have 4G, no, you're stuck on 4G. You're hosed? Yeah. You know, there's nothing they're going to do for that. But Chevrolet, Buick, Cadillac, and GMC are all looking to come on out in 2024 with full connected 5G connectivity in their cars. Okay. All right, Mike, our time is up. We did get through the top stories. If you want to learn more, you can visit us online at techtimeradio.com. You click on the episode section, and you can see all this details. Now we're going to be heading out to break, and it's time for us to have our whiskey tasting during the break. Mm-hmm. When we come on back, we have our Technology Insider segment, Back to School. Make sure you guys join us here. We'll see you after the break. 
Hi, I'm Nathan Mum, host of Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum on KKNW. Tech Time Radio's live show is Saturday from 4 to 6 p.m. And you can always check us on the web at techtimeradio.com. Our segmented stylized radio gives you the breaking news before it hits mainstream media. Join myself and Mike Rodea as we'll make you laugh. That's good. So, Hooked on phonics worked for you, didn't it? <laughs> Just a little bit. And learning something new in technology, join us Saturdays, 4 to 6 p.m. and Thursdays from 6 to 7 a.m. The technology show for the everyday common person. Hi, this is Lisa Downs, host of Reigniting You, the show that takes a positive, forward-looking approach to mid-to-late career transitions for Gen Xers and Boomers every Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock Pacific. Whether you're looking to stay in the traditional workforce, do your own thing, or retire or semi-retire, Reigniting You is your source for career transition advice, inspiration, and insight for what's next in your career and life. Join me Wednesdays at 3 o'clock to get re-energized, recharged, and reignited. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. We were just getting stuff prepared for our award show. You got a couple of uh, winners that you have over there now. I got a couple winners here. That's going to be really excited. But before we do that, back to school is important, right? Yeah. If you're going back to school, it, uh, it is very important. I'm not going back to school. So. We're going to be talking about some great items. My, and, and my I, poor kid is going to start late. Is he going to start late? Why is he going to start late? Uh, because he got stuck here with all the COVID stuff. Oh, because so he started had co- already. Oh, they started and in Arizona? He to, yeah, he had to hang out for an additional three weeks. That's because uh, Mr. Gorday got COVID. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and then my daughter, I got to get ready to move her over to Ellensburg for Central next month. Oh, wow. Oh, let's see. School's coming on back. Now, let's ask Mike Gorday, Re- Rebel 100 Proof Kentucky Straight Bourbon, $21 a bottle. This weeded bourbon takes everything you love about our Kentucky Straight Bourbon and dials it up. Talk about intense. Yeah, it is intense. Don't be fooled. The sweet aroma is there to uh, fool you. To, to lighten the tongue with the bold caramel and vanilla notes and a dry finish. A hundred proof rebel. We got uh, so many glasses here. We can just keep on putting more and more glasses full of uh, yeah, alcohol no, as we go. So. What, what, what did you think of it? Uh, it's got a really harsh bite okay. at first. But you kind of like that though, don't you? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. This one's, this one's, this one actually hurt my tongue. Wow. It hurt your tongue. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I know. That, that, sound, that, that sounds a little funny. It does sound a little bit funny there. This one, it, this one burned. It burned a little bit? Yeah. I see. I, I, I had a <clears> taste. The, the taste is good. I like the taste. I think it's really smooth. This is a sipping whiskey that I'd have with some, a little bit of ice out on the, you've been into my back porch. I'd be mm-hmm. out on the back porch watching a little Disney plus or something. Just kind of kicking back there. Tech time plus. Tech Time Plus. <laughs> that's, that's right. All right. All right. Well, let's move forward on to our next segment. We are going to get ready to our back to school on our Technology Insider. Welcome to Technology Insider. We get the information directly from the source. All right. Welcome to Technology Insider. Back to school deals. Let me tell you, back to school deals are important. Now, there is one deal out here that is phenomenal. And I was at Best Buy last night picking up not one, but not two. You picked but up three, three, three laptops, laptops, three Surface Sevens, and I'm that's the te- one I got. I know. I'm going to tell you how much we paid for them, and you're going to throw your Surface am across I gonna, the wall. Am I going to throw it across? You the probably room? will. All right, here we go. Back to school specials. We have gone through all the technology <coughs> items that we can to find the best deals for you. First, we're going to start out with the Apple Watch Series Three. Okay, Series Three. I have that on right now. Series Three watch. That's what I have right now. I enjoy. That's your Series Three. That's my Series Three. It is now uh, regularly $229. It's $169 at Walmart. Okay. If you want bad. an Apple Watch, it's the best time I've ever seen them available. There is limited stock on hand, so you have to kind of take a look at it. It's not like it's a rush rush, but they're coming in and coming out of stock. It is their end of cycle service. So that means they're not going to make any more uh, Apple Watch Series 3 from the production companies, and they're getting through their end inventory. So you're getting the dregs. Well, Basically. yeah, but it's a pretty great phone, and it still does all the updates. So it's really, it, it it's really your preference. I just use it to tell time mm-hmm. and to see if I get a text message. So I don't do any of these crazy other things from it. So well, what's the point? Well, I, I, I mean, a watch <laughs> is to look at time, isn't it? Well, no, not that. Well, that 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 thing's like uh, spy the spy watch. The spy. Watch. You remember remember the Dick Tracy stuff when we were little? Yeah, you, you can talk control, into it. Control, control. 
I, I, I also use it a lot to find my phone when I lose it because it has a thing that tethers to your phone. Oh. So that if you lose your phone, then I can find my watch. And I'm Maybe like, you should just keep your phone with you. All right. So look at that at Walmart at $169 limited stock on hand. All right. The next item we're going to go to security cameras, especially if you're in a dorm. David, you're going to want to listen up to this. The Blink mini security cameras are available. That's the Blink that works with Amazon. For twenty four ninety nine at Amazon, the all new Blink Mini Smart Security Camera is absolutely phenomenal. Full HD. Mm-hmm. It's this really little, small little camera you can just put up with three M tape right up, uh, right up on your door. Right up on your door. Make sure your room's taken care of. Make sure if your roommate's coming on in, you're tracking what they're doing. Have one looking at your computer. It's yeah, not good in the college. <laughs> Was that? That's not good at college. Well, <laughs> you, you could get some interesting <laughs> stuff. Can you repeat though? that one more time? Really, where? How much and where? Okay, so the, it's at Amazon. <laughs> the Blink Mini <laughs> Camera. You can get a couple of these. You can get three. The camera kit for three of these is only $64.99 at Amazon right now. Nanny cam. So man. you can get three cameras. You could have one in the uh, looking at your daughter while she's at college. You could have one outside making sure the she's not having any crazy guys come on in and on the hallway and you could probably put one outside <laughs> looking and looking out to the play area. And, uh, <laughs> I, okay. I, I don't yeah. know. She might kill me, but we'll see. Well, you know what? She, if you can, if you get it really small and you, she doesn't know, you get them all set up there. Yeah. Let's, up, let's, to go. let's really encourage that. All right. And then she's going to need, of course, David, a fridge air, a mini fridge. Right, everybody needs a mini fridge if you're going to college because that's where you put all your beer. Have, in, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Beer. I don't <laughs> I know about that. I got too many fridges at home. You got too many fridges at home? Yeah. Why do you have to? What, you have a mini fridge at home? Yeah. Well, do you have it right next to your bed? No. No. So it's that, in my bar area. In your bar area. So then it'd be really yeah. cool to have a mini fridge right next to your bed. I just was thinking about that. So like you just want to? Yeah, you yeah. just roll over and grab a <laughs> grab a, a brew beer. and. <laughs> That's right. It's just that boy. Oh. You know, I think I think all this whiskey tasting is, has has really gotten to my head. Yeah, because huh? you, you didn't drink. I haven't before we before we started. This I know. Show. I know. This and is now you and he's coming lot. up with these ideas already. <laughs> all right, one hundred eighty nine dollars and ninety nine cents at Best Buy. Best deal that's available out there. It's like three hundred dollars off the normal price. Now, if you need it, uh, some uh, AirPods, the Apple AirPod Pros. One seventy nine at Amazon. Nice, sixty nine dollars off normal price. <clears throat> All right, we got through the mini cameras here. If you need a monitor, I always like monitors, right? The brand new twenty nine inch ultra wide monitor, two hundred and twenty six dollars and ninety nine cents at Amazon. It is a three sided uh, border seamless control with a twenty nine inch monitor. It's normally four hundred dollars, and it's available right now on Amazon. It's LG WP sixty G dash B. Make sure you get the dash B. The dash A is the older version that was there. It's available at the same price too. But if you do the dash B, you can get two hundred and twenty six dollars and ninety nine cents at Amazon. All right, all right. The item though I bought Microsoft yeah, let's, Surface let's talk Pro about Seven because I'm fixing to throw mine. Okay, Microsoft Surface Pro Seven uh-huh. at Best Buy. Is available for five hundred and ninety nine. Are you serious? A uh, five hundred and ninety nine. Best Buy has the versatile Surface Pro Seven on sale for five ninety nine. Well, supplies last. Oh. Thanks to the massive three hundred and sixty dollar discount. Now it is only an i three, so it's not the same processors that you got in there. I think you got the i five. I five. So it's it's the i three, and it only comes with four gigs of RAM instead of I think you got eight or sixteen I got on your sixteen. Sixteen. So it's a little different in price, but. If you need a touch tablet, forget a Amazon Fire. Go get yourself a Surface yeah, whole computer thing, yeah, for five ninety nine. Thing is phenomenal. It is nice, isn't it? Oh yeah. You can't play games on it. The one people say, "Hey, can I play games on it?" No, it's, no. it doesn't have the graphics card. But if no, you want to, I I have my pen, you know, and I can draw stuff on here, and I do all kinds touch of touch screen yeah, and touch your mouse screen, yeah. and the keyboard integrated. It's phenomenal. Great, great deal. Now, if you wanted to get a 24-inch monitor, a little less than the other monitor I talked mm-hmm. about, the all-discount price of $179 at Dell. Dell has a 24-inch monitor, a uh, fantastic price. It's 170-degree uh, viewing, so it's completely kind of this whole round, circular uh, view. Uh, normally, $299. It's available on sale right now at $179. It's the Dell s 2421 that's S2421 H9. All right. As we are finishing off here, our back to school, there is t- so many technology items that are available. But you know what? We only want to get the best deals that are available. I have a MacBook Pro M1. If you want a MacBook, they're available about 200 bucks now. 
I don't know if that's really a cheap deal, but it's a little bit of a sale that they have coming on it. If you want a Chromebook, I know some people like a Chromebook. I I don't because I would just buy a Surface, right? Well, they're they're good for they're good for kids. They're good for kids. They're good for some schooling, taking notes. But I, I don't necessarily like it. But there's a huge market that does, mm-hmm. right? So I wouldn't own one. But if you do own one and you did want to own one, at least we have probably the best deal available. This is the Acer Chromebook Spin. So it's one of these hybrid spins. You can flip it all the way over. You can have it like a tablet version. Flip it on over. You have the keyboard that's available. It is normally $299. It is now on sale for $168. It's just a very, very basic Surface. Uh, yeah. it's a Well, it's four gigs of RAM, so it's got the same gigs of RAM. Mm-hmm. It's got a MediaTek <laughs> processor, which is not the same. 32 gigs of storage, which is on the memory itself. So, again, the Surface, you get 128 gig hard drive, and then you can put a micro SD card into it at a later time. But if you want a premier device that has two-in-one functionality, this is under 200 bucks. Yeah, no no one good. has normally had them under 200 bucks. It's 168 at Walmart. You just have to go in and actually purchase it at Walmart yourself. So, and that's always, let me tell you, just a, uh, uh, just an interesting. So what are you going to do with all your three surface pros that you got? So the three, well, I got one so that I can, because my Surface died. I my know, Surface you're... 4. I lost my hard drive. Oh, yeah? And, and so my Surface that, that 4. That ancient thing you yeah, were bringing for a long time? I know. So that, that's why I got my Mac here now. So um, I'm going to have one. My wife has one so that she can have check-in um, at the preschool that she has. She has a preschool. Mm-hmm. And so instead of having a Apple tablet or an Android tablet, she's going to now have that touch screen functionality of the surface that's available there and then she wanted to upgrade her other computers she's got like a check-in station for the teachers and so they had an old pentium pro machine that i gave them as a hand-me-down and now she's got this brand new all right souped up deal so there you go the surface price is probably one of the best you will ever yeah. see yeah limited while supplies last i'm sure that they're running out of uh those items also they're kind of clearancing them but you know uh, surface sevens are pretty nice that is the end of our back to school special. Woohoo. So we're going to take a commercial break. And are you excited, Mr. Gorday, for what we have coming up next? We have the 2021 part one, because it's a two part event, Lace Awards. The Lace Awards. The Lace Awards. The we're going to talk. Awards. The L A S E Awards. That's right. <laughs> we're going to talk what it stands for. <laughs> we're going to talk about previous winners. Uh, one one of the previous winners uh, category you probably don't want to be because they're no longer in business anymore. We be. So, so we'll be talking about that, and we'll have all of our new winners also. We'll see you after the break here. Uh, I'm Nathan Mum with Tech Time Radio. Did you know that up to 12 to 15 percent of Americans grind their teeth at night while they sleep? Hmm. Yeah, it's it's called bruxism. I used to work at a sleep lab, and we used to we used to measure that, and it leads to a lot of uh, problems like headaches and destroys your teeth. It wears down the enamel, and it's just very hard on your your mouth. So every once in a while, I'll wake up, my jaw will hurt. Do you think I'm grinding my teeth at night? Yeah. Well, so how do you go about protecting this then? Uh, the number one recommended way of protecting yourself from teeth grinding is what's called a night guard, which is a custom fitted prosthetic that you put inside your mouth. It usually runs, you know, hundreds of dollars, but I know our sponsor, Smile Brilliant, can get you custom fitted night guards for as little as $45 a piece. So if you go to smilebrilliant.com and use Tech Time Radio at checkout, you can receive 20% off your complete order. So visit smilebrilliant.com and use the Tech Time Radio at checkout code. All right, you see my jacket? Oh, yeah, you look like a homeless guy. What, what are you talking about? I look like <laughs> you, need, a, you need to put the collar down. I got to put the collar down? All right, I got, I got my jacket on. <laughs> this is our big awards show here, so I wanted to dress up. Okay. Does that look, does that look a little bit nicer? No. No? Yeah. Well, you're all your dressed call, up. Your collar's all stuck down in your shirt. What is it? Hang on here. Is it? I, pull your collar out. How's there my collar? Is it, is it? Here. Pull, look, it, pull it out the back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fly By The Seat Radio. Oh, there we go. There you go. Now, All right. We're now, ready. now you're looking. We're ready for the 2021 Lace Awards. Now let's talk about the Lace Awards. They're the Literature Arts of Streaming Entertainment Awards created by us. Yes. Right? Yes. We created it. So we created it. We came up with when an we award show. we were drinking. We were. 
That's back year one. Year one. We came up with this. We said, hey, let's do something like this. And we were drinking after one of our episodes, and we came up with Probably this. at that bookstore. Uh, <laughs> with all the sweaty bookstores. <laughs> with all the sweaty well, 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 We're in the sweaty we were, back place. You know what, though? People didn't believe that that was a real hot deal because we weren't sweating enough. I had fans contact That's because we had, like, fans all over the place. I know. We set them all up. You could hear them just in, in the background, but that was just crazy. So we came up with this great award show. This is our second annual award show. We are going to continue to do this. One day, we're going to have these huge ballrooms. People will come and sit on down for dinner. And it's specifically different than every other award show because it's only the streaming entertainment awards. So you have to be a streaming service or device. Now, the Emmys are kind of bleeding into some of the streaming services. You know, and not... They're just going to take over everything. What's that? They're just going to take over everything. Well, so that's, that's right. So we're going to be ahead of everybody because we're going to have our award show in, in season six, and they'll be doing their first one. And it'll be like, come to us here in the Seattle area, and then we'll get so big. We'll be at Maidenbauer Center. We'll have huge productions. We'll have the studios there. Okay. And then we're going to go to California because it was so big, and we'll run out the. Paramount. Okay. All right. Here we go. You want to take another drink of that whiskey there? No, I liked it though. I think it tastes pretty good. I do think it's good. All right. Let's start with the introduction. Welcome to the 2021 Literature Arts of Streaming Entertainment Awards or the Lace Awards. All right, welcome to the you, you first. You spent a long time doing that. Uh, we spent there's, there's there's a lot of time in some <laughs> audio work that we've done here. All right, let me tell you, our first category <clears throat> on the awards show is the New Service Award for best. And the new nominees service. for the New Service Award for best new service are IMDb TV. With IMDb TV, you can watch Hollywood hits and TV favorites for free. No subscription needed. Discovery Plus. Introducing Discovery Plus, the greatest collection of real-life entertainment. Whoa! From 14 of TV's most-watched networks, Food Network to Animal Planet, ID to HGTV, stream what you love. Peacock. What's Peacock? This is Peacock. Let's go! It's streaming, launching, premiering. It's TV, yeah. movies, oh. and it's free. Free, 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 free. Who's with me? That's Peacock. Yeah. Paramount Plus. This is live sports, breaking news, and the best of CBS. Here we go. This is on the island, in the house, and racing across the world. Go, go, go. This is on the case, in your face, and a spooky good time. CBS on Paramount Plus. This is epic. Now streaming. Okay, before we open the envelope with our this great music, let's talk about this. 2001 previous winner, uh, 2000 winner, was Quibi. Yeah. Yeah, they're no longer in business anymore. I know. So I don't know if this is, if, if you really want to win this award or not, but this is essentially- What are you trying to say? That once you win our award, you go out of business? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, so far it's Quibi 100%. Quibi made a mistake. They should have- Qu- Quibi should have done a bunch of stuff. They, they should have had a plus on the end of their name. Quibi, Quibi plus, plus, and they right. would have been fine, right? That's right? All right, so we have IMDb TV, Discovery Plus, Peacock, and Paramount. So IMDb TV, have you have you taken a look at that streaming service? No. So they have Leverage, a new. They have the reboot of the Leverage series. Okay. They essentially have a lot of old movies that are available for free, and they're creating new like content. Netflix. Yeah, well, yeah, but they they kind of have the real old old stuff. So they have like the seventies and eighties. What, what is that real old old stuff? Well, We're talking about thirties here. Well, I, I, that's real old. So most old, of their old. stuff that they have available are studios that have folded. Okay. So if you have a studio of like Pegasus, you remember when the little the Pegasus uh, used to come on out the horse did in the studio that for was, all their things. TriStar or TriStar. So yeah. they don't. Well, Pegasus used to be one too, and they don't exist either. But it's these companies that have kind of gone under. What mm-hmm. happens is they buy uh, discounted price to rebroadcast their stuff. We have Discovery Plus. Oh my word! If I see another <laughs> ad for Discovery Plus, I will. I because we watch some of the cooking shows. Uh-huh. Discovery Plus is all over everywhere. If I see any more. Uh, Gaines and her husband, and we're gonna Magnolia this, Magnolia this. I, 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 I would just cry. We have a uh, Peacock Network, which is actually only a year old, which yep. is amazing to, to see about that. They were brand new last year. It has to be within the year. And then we also have Paramount Plus, which is really interesting because that used to be CBS All Access, mm-hmm. right? So they just during the Super Bowl came up with their brand new area. So we have the envelope here. 
for the new service award winner. And we're going to take a look and see what we have there. Oh, look at that. See, that's. Look at that. All right. And the winner is. Thirsty for the applause. That's right. Before you. Paramount Plus. No way. Congratulations. Paramount Plus is the a winner of our first award. Okay. All right. Have you seen any of the shows on Paramount Plus? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you Don't like ask it? me which ones because uh, they got the they got tons of uh, I think in Yellowstone or uh, no there's Picard uh, the, the new pair the new Paramount Plus yeah is it, Yellowstone Yellowstone is Yellowstone on there. yeah I've Star watched, Trek I have watched all of those yeah so they they got a, and they have also all the CBS live feeds so if you want to watch like Big Brother which I watch right now and I want to watch the live feeds I don't watch any of that crap oh you don't watch that no I hate oh, that stuff. oh well, yeah, just be <clears> careful because the real world real world awards. I uh, know. Up next. I know. And the nominee for Real World Award, Leaders in Reality TV, Expedition Back to the Future, Discovery Plus. Josh Gates and Christopher Lloyd. I do, please. Oh, that's Christopher Lloyd. You got a real attitude, problem, Gates. Slackers. Hey, you want to hear my Doc Brown impression? No. Marty! Hi. Sexy Beasts from Netflix. I want to get married. I want to have babies. Before I'm like 26, do you have health insurance? Welcome to the strangest blind date ever. My sexy beast is... The Real World Homecoming New York. Paramount Plus. Getting real. All over again. No way. I can't believe we're back. 30 years later. Race to the center of the earth, Disney Plus. From National Geographic and the creators of the amazing race All right, let's go. comes an extraordinary test of endurance. We're covering a lot of ground. Four grueling paths around the globe converge on a single finish line. Who break? Oh my God. Race to the center of the earth. All right, and so you have the envelope for this I, one, I don't you? I have the envelope, yep. Let's open this bad boy up here. And the winner is for the Real World Award. The Real World. What is that? Homecoming? Yep. New York. Paramount, Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus. That's correct. Congratulations, the Real World Homecoming. Essentially... This category was created for the real world, right? That's what it was based upon uh, when we created this. <laughs> and essentially, we had no idea that the real world would redo broadcasts of their own show. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of weird. And so well, people are now asking us online, who voted for these? What, how, how are winners selected? So I would love to say that it's just uh, Mike and I, we just flip a coin up in the air. We do not do that. It's a whole voting process. In the upcoming years, we're going to have our fans vote for it. But currently, right now, it's our staff. We all get together. Yeah, we, thank, we, thankfully, they bypass Sexy Beast. That's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you that, see that preview? That's so dumb. Did, so they essentially dressed people up in these animals. And they, they, it, they do it. Yeah, they do all this special effects stuff, makeup and stuff. And then they have these people date. Yeah, it's dumb. And, and then they pick the person who they're going to date, and it's they so don't know what they look like. And then they walk out, and it could be somebody completely different. It's so dumb. But now, have you checked out Expedition Back to the Future? No. I'm going to do that. So I, it is it is on one of my lists to do. I got through a lot of other items for the Lace Awards so I can make sure I could vote for this. But this was unanimous with our, our younger audience <laughs> in our um, – what is it in our production, production meeting? Production meetings. Yes. Yeah, so the real world one. So congratulations, real world. Last year's winner is very interesting. It was on Crackle Plus, and it was going for broke. <laughs> Crackle Plus. So Crackle Plus didn't. I don't think they have a nominee yet so far. But nope. They won it last year. Now the next award that we're coming on up to is the Independent Award, and last year's winner in 2020 was the Not So Late Show with Elmo. Elmo. Yeah. HBO Max won it. So it was a it was an unbelievable upset considering who was nominated into that category. And on this year, our independent award, which is Breaking Standards and New Trends, is, again, lots of winners. All right. Let's hear it. And now the nominees for the independent award. 
Nomadland, Hulu. You are one of those lucky people that can travel anywhere. Yes, ma'am. And know. they sometimes call you nomads. And they don't ever say a final goodbye. Let's just say, I'll, I'll see you down the road. And I do. I see them again. And I can be certain in my heart. I'll see you again. First Cow Prime Video. Tall cow today. First cow in the territory. This ain't a place for cows. That's no place for a white man, you know. Them, Prime Video. This home is ours. Heard them folks in Compton straight up evil, man. Think of home. So, three nominees. Three nominees. Right? Very, so the independent award is not documentaries. It's independent or like unique film. And we got First Cow, right? So I actually yeah. watched, have you watched First Cow? No. So I watched I watched a bit of it. I did not watch the whole thing. Is there a cow tippet? Um so essentially it's about <laughs> a cow that comes into America and essentially it moves into a country setting where they have not had any cows there for a long time and they're taking care of this cow like you would like a prized cow type of deal mm-hmm. and everybody in town is very upset about why is this cow getting all the attention. Nomad Land, I have seen. Have you seen Nomad Land? Mm-hmm. So what would you think of it? Oh, it's great. So good movie, great movie. Had lots of interesting. It's about the group of people. It's about yeah. That live in Arizona. Is it in Arizona that they live in? Uh, they all congregate into a certain area. I thought it was Arizona, but they all live essentially there for a whole summer, and then they'll just kind of pack up <clears throat> and leave at the end of the summertime, and they'll go back to different areas to live. Yeah, in. well, the, we have uh, since I'm from Arizona, you know, uh, we have snowbirds that come down, and then there's a place called Quartzite I'm, that. Uh, grows from like 6,000 people to like over 100,000 people during oh, wow. the winter time. Yeah. So there's all kinds of places like that. So so that was great and then we have them prime video and it's kind of a cross between historical African American uh neighborhood and then horror at the same time. So it's a real uh real interesting. Thing. All right. All right, let's see who the winner see who is. is. And the winner is Nomadland, Hulu. No way. Yes. So Nomadland, congratulations. You won the Independent Award. That that was a good film. I enjoyed seeing Nomadland. All right. Now we're going to continue on as time is going through. The next thing that we're going to be talking about for our award show would be the Best Series Award. Now this is kind of a big one. So the Best Series Award last year, it was the Capture that won this. It was a brand new show that just came on out with the Peacock Network. It mm-hmm. was a security type of deal. And so this is kind of the best series awards is like the great series that you would have within that year. So you have to be within the July time frame of 2020 to July 2021. That's our time frame that we pick each of these areas. And I think we have some great nominees for the best series award. All right. And the nominees for this year's best series award are Dr. Death, Peacock. Good morning, I'm Dr. Christopher Dunch. Today we're going to be operating on Rose Keller, a patient presented with severe back pain diagnosed as a herniated disc. It is important we are in and out with as little fanfare as possible. So, mouth shut, ears open. The system is broken. I have a suggestion. It's a bit extreme. He's either the most incompetent surgeon I've ever crossed paths with, or he's a sociopath. The Boys, Season 2, Amazon Prime. Loki, Disney Plus. I know what this place is. The timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. You can trust me. Loki, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. 
You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. <laughs> Why never do it again? The Queen's Gamut, Netflix. Men are going to come along and want to teach you things. Doesn't make them any smarter. You just let them blow by, and you go on ahead and do just what and how you feel like. Tell the readers of life how it feels and to be a girl. Among all those men. I don't mind it. Chess isn't always competitive. Chess can also be beautiful. All right, let's talk about this before you open up the envelope. Have you seen Loki? <laughs> no. You have not seen Oh, nope, you have not seen on, Loki? Nope, that's on my oh. uh, list. Okay, so I watched Loki. I watched Doctor Death. I watched The Boys and Queen's Gambit. Now I let watched, me tell you. I watched The Boys and the Queen's Gambit. Now Queen's Gambit, once I started watching that, I could I That's I, an excellent show. That is an excellent show. I stayed up until like two in the morning watching episodes of that. I l- really love the chess. I love the whole competitive part. I liked how she had to learn at school. She went down the janitor essentially taught her how to play chess, and she would see those images. And mm-hmm. Loki's great. Uh, the boys, I, I don't, I don't, I don't quite get the boys. The boys season is one crazy. And two, uh, season one and two, they're both kind of crazy. And then um, Doctor Death on Peacock. Have you watched that? Nope. Oh, that okay. All right. I, I know. I know you. Uh... It's so, had some really strong reactions. To let it. me just tell you, Doctor. De- I will never get back surgery as long in my life ever again <laughs> after seeing Christopher Dunch and how he screwed up like forty-seven uh, surgeries. This is based on a true story. True right? story. There was a podcast that came on out, and then they turned it into a movie itself. So I don't know who the winners are. Let's get ready to listen and see who the winner is. All right, let's see. The winner is for best series award, Doctor Death. Peacock. Doctor Death won won it? Yep. Wow, Dr. okay. Death. Well you need to see have you you haven't seen Doctor Death yet? No. Doctor Death is crazy. I don't, I don't have a lot of time to watch things. When I say I watch things, it's because I'm probably sick. Like when I was on COVID. Yeah. Uh when I wasn't sleeping, I was watching stuff on T V. What, what did you watch the most? Oh, I don't know. The Westerns? I, I watched a lot of Westerns. You yeah. told me that. You told me yeah. That. Okay. All right. Okay, we got one more category, and then we're going to have to go to a commercial break because we still got Mike's mesmerizing moment. So let's get right to the <clears throat> Best Documentary Awards. And the nominees for the Best Documentary Award. My Octopus Teacher by Netflix. I remember the day when it all started, seeing this really strange thing. What she taught me was to feel that you're part of this place, not a visitor. That's a huge difference. Framing Britney Spears, Hulu. Britney was so serious and so focused. This is a girl that's coming from strength. She was so open and vulnerable. How we treated her was disgusting. Why is her dad making all of her decisions? What do we want? Free Britney! Summer of Soul. Hulu. Are you ready, black people? Are you ready? Are you really ready? Are you ready to listen to all the beautiful black voices, the beautiful black feelings? waves moving in beautiful air are you ready black people are you ready nobody ever heard of the Harlem Culture Festival Pele Netflix he was only 17 are you okay, I don't think anywhere in the world there's been an atmosphere quite like this but Brazil is my country All right, and the winner is it is My Teacher Octopus by Netflix. Congratulations. That gets us through the first half of our 2021 Lace Awards. 
We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come right on back, we got Mike's mesmerizing moment. Hey, Mike, as a business owner, why do we form an LLC or a corporation? Well, that's that's pretty simple. We want to protect ourselves personally from the liability of the company. That's right, Mike. The very next thing we should be doing as business owners is protecting ourselves personally from the finances of the company. Right. Yeah, that's why you want to get help, and you can get help from the business doctor which was founded by Dr. Glenn Smith, PhD in business management, accounting, and finance. Schedule your free business evaluation and consultation at thebusinessdoctor.us. You know, enroll in the Rapid Business Credit Builder Program and get up to 100K business credit under the company's EIN and the DUNS number in less than six months. The DUNS number is really important for your rating on when you purchase other items from other businesses. Never having to use personal credit ever again. That's thebusinessdoctor.us or call 866-383-1030. Again, that's 866-383-1030 or thebusinessdoctor.us. Visit the business doctor today. This is Mike's Mesmerizing Moment presented by Story Coffee. Visit storycoffee.com. Yeah, so you were talking about Mr. Dunch. Yep. Christopher the Dunch. There, and yep. you were, what was your question? I said, why do people get surgeries without ever verifying anything about these doctors? Because part of the human condition is uh, we're, we're social beings and we're also hierarchical beings. Okay. Which means that we need social contact and, and we need a hierarchy. And when we, have, when we have somebody who is in a position of authority... Like a doctor, yep. We tend to trust them without thinking much about it because it relieves us of mental stress. It relieves us of of taking responsibility for doing those background checks. Okay, right. So we have somebody. We have somebody who has gone to medical school, passed medical school. Yep, is a practicing surgeon. Practicing. Right, and yeah. we're thinking, we're thinking, okay, this is got, this has got to be okay. And in the in the intro, we talked about it talked about whether this guy was a sociopath. Oh, he is. I mean, he like literally Which, goes th- and takes your neck muscle out during surgery, and then his best friend. I don't want to ro- ruin it too much for you. Spoiling. Uh, essentially, he turns him into a convalescent individual by doing surgery with him and screwing up with his spine. Right. So. This is somebody, This is, as a sociopath, this would be somebody that enjoys risky behavior and gets off on that type of power and control. Yep. And because we, we respond to authority, we allow that to happen. Okay. Because it, it, saves, it saves us, it saves us uh, pain, mental pain. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. That was fantastic for Mike's mesmerizing moment. Now we need to move into, of course, our pick of the day. Oh, there's music. And now our pick of the day for our whiskey tastings. Let's see what bubbles to the top. All right. We have our Rebel 100 Proof Kentucky Straight Bourbon, the weeded bourbon that takes you on an exciting adventure and don't be fooled by the sweet aroma. So <laughs> yeah, don't be fooled. The, so I so we were talking again a little bit off air. We got a little bit for the second hour, which is great. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoy that bite. I like that bite. I thought that was fantastic. So essentially, I gave that a thumbs up. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like something that just overpowers you with with burn. Yep. Uh, I like more milder tastes. So I gave it a thumbs. We gave it a thumbs down. Yeah. All right. So we got a thumbs up and you got a thumbs down. All right. Well, we definitely want you uh, to make sure you're going to join us for our second hour. In our second hour, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things. First, we're going to be talking about our letter segment. We letters. got some great letters that have come. I, I got two, two of them that I, I can't believe they even sent to me, but I'll give you one of those to read because it's mm-hmm. phenomenal to take a look at. We have <coughs> Microsoft in the 1990s. We have 1996 and 1997 that we're going to talk about. Big things happened in that. You got lots of questions to ask me. That is an interesting time because I move into some of my senior level support items that I have. And we got part two of the Lace Award. So we still got four more awards to give out, including the Best Social Streaming. Streaming Award and 
our big top award, which is to a streaming service that we call the Master Award. So it's going to be very exciting. If you're only catching the first hour and you're not going to be able to catch the second hour on any of the rebroadcast stations, make sure you visit us at techtimeradio.com and you can get the second half of the Lace Awards. If you are only joining us for an hour, we appreciate that. And we appreciate you for being our active listeners. You can always, again, go and find out more information at techtimeradio.com. You can look at our episodes and our blog posts and sign up for our newsletter. I'm Nathan Mum, and I have had a great time. Second hour is going to be even more exciting. we got Mike Day here, David Brown behind the board. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that hmm moment today in technology. The fun doesn't stop there. We recommend that you go to techtimeradio.com and join our fan list for the most important aspect of staying connected and winning some really great monthly prizes. We also have a few other ways to stay connected, including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from Apple to Google and everything in between. We're also on YouTube. So check us out on youtube.com slash techtimeradio, all one word. We hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you. From all of us at Tech Time Radio, remember, mum's the word. Have a safe and fantastic week. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Guess what? Our favorite sponsor is back. Oh, it's the Puzzle Dude from Unidragon. Hey, you know, everyone faces a problem. What gift to choose? What to give a friend or parent? How about that wife or husband? Or what about that child or even that colleague at work? I know what you need to get them. What's that? A uh, wooden puzzle. Wooden puzzles like Unidragon solve this problem. Get the what? owl. Why do people love Unidragon puzzles? Because each piece has a unique shape. Mike, do you know that Unidragon now has nature puzzles? All right, we need more owls. Now they're small, medium, king size, and royal size. So you can get seven times bigger than the standard puzzle. So if you want to get upgraded in your puzzles, now's the time to go to Unidragon.com. Again, that's Unidragon.com. Don't be fooled by other imitation puzzle makers. Only get your true puzzle from Unidragon.com. They're the best, and they're the world's leader in wooden puzzles. Tech Time listeners, use promo code DRAGONTECH. Again, that's DRAGONTECH for a 10% discount code. They're no longer three sizes, Mike. Guess how many they are now? They're four sizes. That's right. They're four sizes. Make sure to visit techtimeradio.com forward slash sponsors and click on the order now button to go directly to Unidragon. Our number one sponsor says thank you. That's awesome. We need more owls. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's up? Hey, have you heard of Thousand Fell? Yeah, that's the company that's redesigning sustainability for the next generation, starting with a fully circular sneaker. That's correct. Each pair combines thoughtful design with modern and sustainable sourced material, making them durable, comfortable, and recyclable. 97% of sneakers end up in a landfill. We're not okay with that. Join the movement at www.thousandfell.com. Use the promo code TECHTIME21 to get $21 off your first order. Every pair of Thousand Fell purchase comes with a $20 recycling credit towards your next purchase, making it easier than ever to skip a trip to the landfill. Coming to you from the shores of the Pacific Northwest, keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side. With leading edge topics, along with special guests, to navigate technology in a segmented, stylized radio program. The information that will make you go, hmm. Pull up a seat, raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. We're back. That's right. Second hour. We're excited to be back. This is 
You know what? We're we not okay with that. We're not okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Your thousand felt commercial. Oh, that's funny. Let me just tell you, if, if we ever wanted to make a blooper reel to make millions of dollars, all we have to do is all of our uh, commercial ads that we no, do. No, no, no. No, no, no. We want, we oh, want come on. That. That'd be a great segment. It, it would be a, a great, as we do. Sometimes we get uh, literally a two minute commercial or even a minute and a half commercial will take us, takes us half an hour half an hour because we're just laughing and uh we'll say something wrong and the mic will be like man you got to pronounce that correct nathan what are you doing that that's a simple word that's an english word you should have learned in third grade so okay now welcome to our show hopefully you're catching the second hour and you were here for the first hour if you missed the first hour please go to techtimeradio.com and watch the first hour because you're going to be saying what are the lace awards what's going on here and you're going to be kind of like coming on in 30 minutes into a movie you know if you miss that opening dialogue you come on in the second scene of what's going on you have no idea why this person is mad at this Was person that your reality yeah that's that's my reality you know i i, I dated a little bit during my time back when I was a single man. And I remember yeah, in coming, high school. I know, in high school, in high school. And I remember coming into a movie once late. That was the last time I ever did that. We kind of did movie hopping from one place to another place. Oh, yeah. And I came in and totally had a different view of the movie. I thought it was kind of really uplifting. I have no idea that this like psycho killer at the very beginning was set up and this is replaying it through in the life. So they're doing this nice story. I'm like, oh, this is going to happen really good. And then like the last three minutes, this person dies. I'm like, what the what heck? What movie was it? Um, oh, it, it would have been the same time of, of Sliver that was out. So it would have been the sticky th- uh, theater movie that would have gone to. I don't remember. That would have been 19, actually, it would have been 1990, probably 1989 or 1990. Man, I feel so old right so, now. So, what, what, <laughs> why is that? <laughs> were, were you watching movies at that time? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm uh, what, when, when did you go in high school? When did you go to the movies? I was going to the movies in the 70s, buddy. Oh, were really? you? Yeah. Okay, well, we won't say how. Who, who's <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. That's right. We won't say who's up. Who's well, welcome. Hopefully you're watching our live show, 4 to 6 p.m. on Saturday. If you are not watching you're Saturday. You're going to get schooled. We're 4 to 6. Guess what? <laughs> that means on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, not 4 to 6. And Sunday, you're catching a rebroadcast. We're For- excited that you're here. David had something. To I say was going to say, Lon, but you know what? I'll give you a break this week. Are going to give you a break? Okay, okay he's going to say, Captain Obvious. Obvious. Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay, all right. So we enjoy you being a part of our live show. We enjoy you watching us online also. So we have a lot of YouTube people that watch our videos. We appreciate all your guys' is watching. We would love for you to tell more people about our show because um, we want to share our joy to everybody else. So definitely do that. On today's show, we got Microsoft back in the 1990s. Yes. So we're going to talk about 1996. It seems like it was just yesterday. 1997, I know, especially when I go back and I took a look at my reviews. So I have here my reviews. These are Microsoft performance reviews. Oh, look at you. So I can make sure I can trigger the right moment in my life because I'm getting a little bit older, so I want to make sure I'm not saying the wrong things for the wrong years. So I got that taken care of. You should do that for your movie watching. My movie watching too? Okay. (laughs) All right. Then we're going to continue with the 2021 Lace Awards, which are the literature arts of streaming Dreaming. and entertainment. Okay. It's a second year broadcast. You can see our number two that's hanging up over there, right? So our second year doing the Lace Awards, and this is all streaming media. We go through categories. What we have coming on up is we have the Best Sci-Fi Award, the Social Streaming Award, which is a brand new category, which mm-hmm. we'll talk about. We have the Best Picture Award, and then we have the overall like Best Award, which is called the Master Award, All right. and that is for the Best Streaming Service. So we'll have that, and then hopefully we got some laughs and some joys as we continue on through this episode. All right. First thing we always do when we start our second hour is we appreciate our conversational cards that were given to us by The Love Connection that yes. airs on Thursday. Uh, wrong. It's Love Shack Live, which airs Thursday afternoons, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific time, connection. right here on AM 1150 KKNW. David just, David just wiped yeah, you Yeah, I up. caught you. You said connection. Did I say love connection? You, said you love did. Connection. Oh, it's the uh, love, hey, love Shack. Back in two and two. <laughs> That's back. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, look at him. <laughs> what was that? You see the back in two and two? two? He's doing the two and two. <laughs> yeah, we were back. He always did that, too. We'll be back with two and two right That's after right. this commercial yeah, break. Yeah, Chuck Woolery. Uh, that was awesome. That was on... 
Channel 13, KCPQ 13 when I was growing up, and I used to watch that all the time. That was like, okay, you have these three people, and that little computer come on up and says, 57% match. Okay, we'll see what you did. Now tell us what your date was. Ah, our date was yeah. horrible, all this. That's right. So this this has nothing to do with that show. This, it does not. This, this is our this is our buddies from the Love Connection. See, I just said <laughs> well, You just said it. The Love Shack. Oh, uh, for two. Oh, for two. All right, here's the question they asked here. Do you believe there is life on any other planet? Yes. Okay, yes. Do, do I need that? do I even need to go into why? Okay, we'll go into why. I'm going to be Carl Sagan and talk about how many billions and billions and billions of stars are out there. Okay. And each of those stars has planets and some of those planets are capable of supporting life. So the fact that there are just mathematically speaking, yep. Some of those planets have to support life. You think Whether they support intelligent life, that's another question. Okay, but, we just ask life, right? We just ask but, life. Yeah. So, so Vulcan doesn't exist? The planet Vulcan? It may. Just think, we could just be sitting here on Earth uh, yeah, I'm waiting pretty, until I'm we sure hit that. that Vulcan is not one of them. The light speed, and then as soon as Dr. Cochran gets that invented, then the Vulcans will come and visit us. Just okay, think. I think okay. I think you're cross-referencing your fantasy <laughs> life there. <laughs> My Star Trek yep. stuff. All right, David, we're going to go to you next. Uh, I'm going to agree probably yes, or probably just simply because it seems like the United States always wants to send stuff out there to see if there's intelligent life out there. That's right. Although we are sending billionaires up there. So let me ask you, if a billionaire goes to space and he's not that intelligent, does that mean there's unintelligent life in space? Yes. Okay. There you oh, go. David. <laughs> David's got that covered. He got that covered. All right. Do I believe there's life on planets? Absolutely. Where's Luke Skywalker? All these things, I watch movies, and I believe them okay. 100%. <laughs> so we got Star Wars. We got okay. Yoda think, out there. I think you got to quit. We, I think you're missing Star the point Trek. here, buddy. What's that? What's that? Nathan, <laughs> I am your father. Okay, see, so Darth Vader could be out there, and right now we're, we're all just waiting I'm over sure, here yeah. to, to have that. Star Trek can be out there. Have you watched the Discovery seasons? I mean, we could be- I've, I've watched a lot of these things, Okay, but that doesn't-, that doesn't connect with what you're trying to connect and then together. there's also these these extra universes of marvel that's doing these things you know that we got like the multi-universe yeah you got so a there's multi- a universe on top you, of a universe on top that, of a right? universe right yeah, yeah you understand that right? okay so I, I believe everything i watch on television i and youtube yeah, and read on the that's, internet that's obvious <laughs> all right okay all right that starts our show now we're maybe gonna should, maybe you should uh you know talk to dr dunce there dr dunce yeah. uh, i'm not gonna go have him do any that's surgery right. on me let me just tell you that but if you missed dr death one our best series award in the earlier hour that is again dr death on the peacock network wow that was exciting i'll tell you okay let's move on now though to our first segment of the second hour And the letters all have songs. All right, I had to slide on out to get some of my letters that I received <clears throat> in my email. These are all emails sent to me uh, during the week, and these are all weekly. I, again, I get tons and tons of email spam, probably because I click on the emails and then respond to a couple of them. Yeah. Now, just so that I get more and more people that are doing that. But let me talk about the first one. I got Wabi Parker ads. So W A Y B Parker ads. Okay. So they say, take this quiz to find your perfect frames. Perfect what? Frames. So frames. like, Oh, so you're for, for like glasses. glasses okay? okay. So no idea. So quiz me here. It is this optical shops closed question mark. No problem. Try five pairs at home for free. This is at newsletter 13 at O-X-Y-M-E-T-R-E-T-T dot I-N-F-O. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was interested. You know, I may need a, a pair of glasses soon. So I clicked on the uh, deal. They asked me three personality questions for my glasses. Absolutely really? nothing to do <laughs> with my glasses. Instead. What, what, what personality question? It had asked me, how do I, the, one of them was stress. How, how do I manage stress? What do I, uh, the other question was, uh, how do you think people look at you and what do they see first? So I don't know if that was supposed to be like, they see my glasses or they see me or, uh, another one is, do you stand out in the crowd? Uh, 
Well, it depends on if you're wearing your colorful clothes. It does. I, I had a yellow shirt on, let me just tell you, a couple of days ago, and I was thinking about you. It was I bet. so bright yellow. I bet. But essentially, after I'm done with this quiz, it essentially asked me to put in my credit card so they could ship me out five pairs to try at home for free. Well, they promised cool. after I sent it back, so it was only like $69, oh. they would send me five pairs. And then after I sent them back, they would reimburse me the money, and I can keep whatever pair at twenty nine ninety five. Really? Yes. Well, that was very nice of them. Now, the, the problem is, is they had me do this real basic eye exam test, too, right? So they had I, me supposed to stand back 20 feet to do my eye exam, and then they could help get the frames and decide what my eye uh, apertures were needed for glasses based on this test. That's awesome. I, I have I have a lot of problems with uh, this whole idea of personality tests being used to create these little stupid things like, yeah, your personality requires this type of glasses or this type of frame, and then you don't think it works really well. You think it's just kind of no, it's hogwash? it's all bunk. Okay, okay, uh, you I, know, I you. personality personality tests in and of themselves tell yep. you about who you are. Correct. Right, and it can give some clues about the things you might like. But taking a three-question personality quiz in order to find the frames for your glasses, and then I had to stand is, twenty feet back to 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 read certain letters, and I was supposed to relate to them exactly how I did those letters. Yeah, that's that's a lot of so that that seemed like a pretty good doctor, right? Doctor Death would, yeah, would, no, would be like all over no. that. Okay, all right, but yeah. it's easy it's easy to fall for that kind of stuff. Because it is. It's all over the place. And you know what? They, they, I bet you they would actually send me frames. I bet you they probably I, would have. Hey, I don't know. I, I think they may the sixty nine dollars and tell me. Oh, you want me to? Yeah. Okay. Do it. Uh, you know what? I dare you. Okay, I'm gonna. You know what? Because <laughs> oh, I, 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 I know what do that. I know what happens when you say. <laughs> I, I dare you. you have to because it's on tape. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna actually do that. Yeah. Do I, it. I'm gonna do that. Do okay. it. I All right. You. Okay. I read your spam. I got that said. Okay. Also. So before I read this, my question is: Is this how it was actually form- yes, formatted? Yes, absolutely. Okay, yes. so Just I didn't. That's not a. That's not a so unique printer. This is this is not a formatting error. This nope. is the way it was formatted. That is okay. exactly correct. All right. So it, this is from I space capital I space capital T yeah dash ee services dot com, which is your company. Yeah, but ee services. But that person isn't my email address. No, Ashley at cost dot com. K a u f fs.com. Okay. So Nathan Mum, importance. This is very high important. <laughs> yep. The first line says O. Yep. The second line is F. Yep. The third line is F I C. Uh-huh. The fourth line is E3. Yeah. And the f- fifth line f- or fourth line is 65. So it basically has this stupid formatting where it says <laughs> Office 365. Correct. Nathan and it's now called e. Microsoft 365. Just to let you know, spammers that are out there, if you say don't, Office 365, it doesn't work. So you, yeah, you need to be using don't Microsoft them. 365. You know, this is not a this is not this a is not FireEye. So I, okay. this is not a format for you to teach them how to how to be better scammers. Okay. So it continues on with this stuff. It goes your P A S sword. For Nathan at E, so your password. My password. Your password. It's not even password. It's password. It's password yep. for Nathan at eservices.com. Will XP, ire, and ire is anger. Okay. In one day's, use cur, int, pass, word, to con, continue, fo, r. <laughs> for r. Yeah, this is the, this is the <laughs> stupidest thing. This is dumb. Okay. So it says. I guess, I guess, the, I guess the, you know, the, the, the. They do have a link here. It says K E E P same password. So keep the same password. Yeah, so that's the link. But it, they have it all jacked up and on different lines. Yeah, so, and it came across with different fonts. <clears throat> this fonts. sounds like some hacker was just really really bored that day and just said, "I'm just going to do this." And <laughs> he's working for the, the hacking company. The hacking yeah. boss says, "You need to send out a 100 fake spam yeah. phishing." And he's like, "Screw it. I'm going to send out this crappy one to everybody." There now, go, the boss. only thing that this has going for it is that it gets your attention. It did. It That's gets why your, I printed it, out. Yeah, it gets your attention and it and you try and it for some people you want to try and decipher what what's going on. That's here. correct. Correct. Did you click on the link? I did not click on the link. Okay. Thank I just, you for I, I, just that. I just printed it out because it was so badly done. I'm like, oh boy. How many broken. times do we have to tell you don't click on? Yes, the link. don't don't click on links. You click on links, you get yourself in trouble. Don't click on links. All right, here's mine. 
iCloud ID, NathanMum at Hotmail.com. It's sent from PH1, uh, 1LC60MLFRZ at Magnum Control, but Control is spelled with a K. So it's really cool. Control. Oh, dot com. MK Ultra, buddy. Okay. Reply. The subject is reply. So somehow I've had a conversation with it. So it's not just the heading that says your iCloud has been locked. It's actually replying like we've already had a conversation. Like already, okay. Yeah. Reply. Your iCloud has been locked on Saturday, August 21st. Your iCloud has been locked on Saturday, August 21st. Not really because I got my machine on right now, but okay. I got you. Um, if you do not respond within 12 hours, your data will be deleted. Yep, there you go. All that's, right, that's so scary verify thing. your account. We apologize for any incon- incontinence. It's not inconvenience. Any incontinence. It's incontinence? Yes, any in- the, incontinence. Do you know what incontinence is? Yes, because I misspelled it once at Microsoft, and somebody said, really? You're having a problem crapping your pants? And I was like, oh, right. my gosh, You need no. some depends? So, so I, I have never <laughs> screwed that. That's awesome. We apologize for any incontinence this may cause you and appreciate your patience with our security measures. Copyright 2021 iCloud distribution. That's, that's that funny. is. I didn't even realize that until I read that part. Perfect. Incontinence. That's my yeah. my email caused you to pee in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one here because we got we're running out of time here. Okay, so this one actually looks legit. So you're going to have to explain this one. So this is from Wrongly, which is uh, wrongly.li at multiplier dot email. Okay. Uh, subject is Elite Executive Services Multiplier. Hey, Nathan, I sent you an email a few days ago about Multiplier and how I think we could be a great fit for Elite Executive Services expansion and cross-border hiring. Did you know that our clients save an average of 50 k to 100 k per annum by using our services? Companies typically use Multiplier for deploying tech teams in Vietnam and India, getting salespeople on the ground across markets in a quick way, onboarding niche talent, e.g., for, that means, for example, e.g., okay. uh, data scientists for markets such as China and the USA. Would you be available on Wednesday at 11, 11 or 30 for a quick call to discuss our PEO platform? Book a meeting here with me. Click here. Wrongly, sales lead APAC. Okay, and so where where is this at now? Uh, India, right? This is China. No, yeah, but where does he say that he can help us in? In what, in he says what he area? He can help in Vietnam, India, and China. Uh, so why would I need help in Vietnam, India or China? I don't know. The only thing that I can think of right off the top of my head is maybe outsourcing things. Okay, but what is the title on that? The subject yep. is just multiplier. Multiplier. And so it doesn't really explain. So did you click on any? Now, now this actually has an addendum email. Okay, and what's the addendums have? Hey, Nathan, as the pandemic enters the new year, might be looking for easy and effective cross-border hiring strategies. We, multipliers, as specialists in cross-border employment solutions, notice there's a huge increase in the need for remote talent and market expansion post-pandemic. As a result, we are empowering companies to hire remotely distributed teams globally by offering cost-effective payroll solutions in compliance with local labor laws. If you'd like to hear about this in more detail, Please let me know a couple of time slots or choose a time slot for my calendar and I'll reach out to you. P.S. We are not a recruitment agency, outsourcing company that can complement your existing recruitment. So let's talk about this. So this email really looks legit, right? He this, sent this, one one. This looks really, He's, this looks legit. Okay. And he sent the a only, second one. The only thing, the only thing that is on here is that they've got, they've got a, a phone number. Yeah. They've got uh looks like a, a almost like a Twitter account. And then we have WeChat, which is Charlotte at seven eleven. And then they have LinkedIn, which is the right name, and multiplier dot com. Okay, so, so they, they gave you the WhatsApp these things. So they give you the WhatsApp. What's the WhatsApp company name? The WeChat. Yeah, the WeChat. It's uh C H A R L O T T E L I seven eleven. So, so it's Charlotte. Sh- Charlotte, and who's the person that sent that email? Wrong Lee. Okay, so really good crafted email. So I wanted to get a good one in here, right? Yeah. Not a not a funny one, but really good crafted email. Did you click on the booking? So I did click on the booking, yep. and I went to a Calendly file, which is available for free when people Calendly, use that. Yeah. yeah, they use that all the time for people scheduling meetings. Mm-hmm. So I scheduled a meeting with this individual, and I had it scheduled for I think it was Thursday or something like that. And the person called me. Really? Yes. 
Now, the person was a completely different company. Had nothing to do with anybody that was there. Nice gal that was calling on behalf. Sorry, our our person couldn't make it type of deal. Mm -hmm. We're really good at outsourcing. But what we're really great at doing is we're really great at shipping and receiving specialists for your company. So they completely pivoted in what they actually said that their email was. And they wanted me to onboard all my shipping and receiving processes to them instead of doing any of the outsourcing work or anything else at all. So, so this of, is kind of like a bait and switch. It is. And, and, and essentially, they were trying to see if we were available, if I was interested in that type of deal. Completely different person reached out to me. Now, I had a follow-up person reach out to me mm-hmm. that had a completely different company. So essentially what happened is this Calendly put up the Nathan Mum at Executive Services was available. You could schedule meetings with them. And if you try to reach out to them with anything regarding offshore information, you can do that. So I had two other people schedule meetings with me also to sell different products. So it was, so as much as it's so not- this, this, this is just a phishing email to get you for multiple sales platforms. Correct. So I essentially, by signing up for that, said, hey, I'm available. You can use me for whatever you want to do. This person will reach out to you guys. Here's his contact information, schedules meetings with him. All right. So what, what would make me think that this is a phishing email? Well, it depends. I guess if I wanted to have outsourcing and I needed outsourcing, they probably should have said that in the email instead of trying to reach out to me in different meetings. Mm -hmm. Um, It really isn't essentially asking me for my credentials, but it's finding that there's a live person behind the email that will respond and they may be interesting. So let's throw it out on a whiteboard and see a zillion different ideas to try to sell this individual and see if our sales mechanism tool works. Okay. So this this isn't quite the same thing as it's not some quite. of this other stuff. This it's, is actually this is actually just finding a way to schedule you for sales pitches. Correct. But okay. I, again, but I had to fill out the information <clears throat> right. which made myself available. So right. there you go. That ends our letters segment. Dude, don't get me started about my email. I f- hate my email. That's right. Okay. We're going to take a commercial break. And when we come on back, we're really excited. We are going to continue our Lace Awards. And then at the end of our segment today, we got Microsoft in the 1996 and 1997. We want a good 20 minutes of that because there's some crazy stories that we have for that. We appreciate you joining us in our second hour of Tech Time with Nathan Mum. We got Micro Day over here. I got a little bit more whiskey. I'm going to yeah, sip. Yeah, drink it up, buddy. I'm going to sip it up. I enjoyed it. I gave it a thumbs up So on the first hour. David Brown behind the board. We'll see you guys right after this commercial break. Upper Left Corner is a PNW true crime podcast now streaming on all major podcast platforms. If you get excited when your favorite true crime podcast tells a story about a place that you've been to or the town that you live in, then Upper Left Corner podcast is for you. Each week, I tell you a story of a crime that has taken place in the PNW and give you background about the town the crime occurred in. If you like true crime, check out Upper Left Corner podcast now available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google and more. Ace Hardware is a helpful place with prompt, friendly service, knowledge, and the little things that make a big difference. Service. Selection. Advice. Community involvement. Competitive prices. Convenience. Located near you. And the things you need, such as... House keys. Lawn and garden. Plumbing. Electrical. Hardware. Grills. Outdoor living supplies. And even nuts and bolts. When you visit Ace Hardware, you'll be greeted at the door and given the help you need. So come visit us at Ace Hardware in Evergreen Way in Everett, Lake Stevens, and now Stanley. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. We got Mike Roday on my left. That's right. And Chilling we got, out. What's that? Chilling out. Chilling out. That's right. What did you call it? My second hour... Your second hour pose. My second hour pose. Your second hour pose. Yeah. You got a little bit of the leg up, a little bit kicking back. Yeah, the I'm first hour yeah. is very professional. We got to get it done. Got to get it done. Although we were right on time today. You hear we got the music for the first yeah. hour? That, I think we're that doing- That went well. I know. And We should give ourselves an award. That's right. You know we what? We should be a lace award for ourselves. <laughs> lace award. Actually, I'm just going to say that the first hour, and you'll understand what this is, first hour is a solid nine. What do you think? Solid nine? Solid nine? Solid nine? Yeah, sure. Okay, out of one- Why not? Uh, we, we rate yes, behind the scenes. You're going to hear what we do. Uh, every Thursday, uh, we rate the show, and we rate the first hour and rate the second hour. Mm-hmm. You cannot rate on my rating scale. You cannot rate what? Yeah, you can't rate a seven. You can't rate a seven because everybody always chooses that's the seven. Most, that's the, yeah, that's the most chosen rating. And why is that? 
psychologist? You, you know, I don't have an answer for that. It's just it's just one of those things where where uh, a lot of people fall in that. There's a when you do statistics, yeah. there's a median. Yeah. So seven would be the median. Medium. So we don't allow a seven. So you have to either give it a six <laughs> or an is, eight. Which is funny because your wife's like, I'm just going to give it a seven. You can just take <laughs> the it wife does, yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't care at all. Yeah, she's, she's like, whatever. I'm not gonna, uh, uh, I'm that's all. right. But we, we rate the show. So if you get an eight, that's pretty big. Sixes are kind of standard, right? So everybody mm-hmm. kind of gives us a lot of sixes. Sixes or sevens in, in, in your scale. Correct. And then we have some fives every once in a while, too. So Yeah, I've I mean, given like, the show a four. Yes, you have. <laughs> you and Emily. You and Emily. Emily's all over it. She's like, ah, that's, uh, I, I like it. So hopefully the pacing's good, Emily. I know we talked about it on the show, so hopefully our pacing is <laughs> it's going better on this one. All right. <coughs> well, we're really excited. We are going to bring you the second half of our Literature Arts of Streaming Entertainment Awards. These were created by us. Over drinking, you know, like every great right. invention was. That's right. Last year, we created a we, show. We, yes, we did. This is After our. After we drank a lot. That's right. And this is our second annual show. So it's really interesting because we have winners from last year that we'll talk about, winners from this year. We can go to the laceawards.com and it'll give you a warning for the site and it'll say, Do you really want to click here and, and don't proceed because you shouldn't? But we have to get an what's, official what's site. What's up with that? Well, so I, I'm piggybacking on another site, oh, and so it's so URL forwarding, and that's not a good thing to do for a website. Uh-huh. So I need to create a Lace Awards site. So yeah, you're, you're going to become my editor for that? Uh, no. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let, let's start out our part two of the Lace Awards. Welcome to the 2021 Literature Arts of Streaming Entertainment Awards, or the Lace Awards. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've already gotten through the Best Series, Best Documentary Award. We got through the Independent Award, the Real World Award, and the New Service Award. Okay, and we are going to be starting with the Best Sci-Fi Award, and this is for science fiction movies or series. All right. And the nominees for the Best Sci-Fi Award, Science Fiction Movie or Series are... The Expanse, Amazon Prime. My name is Marco Inaros. I am the commander of the Free Navy. It's time to let the system know who we are. Godzilla vs. Kong, HBO Max. It's Godzilla. Bows to no one. Snyder Cut of the Justice League. HBO Max. I need warriors. I'm building an alliance to defend ourselves. How do you know your team's strong enough? If you can't bring down the charging bull and don't wave the red cape at it. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? Batman. The Tomorrow War. Amazon Prime. Boy, they say kids never come by unless they need something. Dad, I need your help. I'll get my coat. 30 years in the future, we are fighting a war. Our enemy is not human, and we are losing. We need you to fight. I will be back. I love you, Chippy. Stowaway. Netflix. My God, Zoe, I'm a doctor. I want you to focus on slowing down your breathing. Into your nose, out through your mouth. I'm Marina Bonnet, the commander of the ship. Do you remember what happened on the pad? I'm a launch support engineer, ma'am. How long was I out? We took off about 12 hours ago. 12 hours? There's no way for all of us to survive. It's imperative that we try.
Oh, this is the big one. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about this. Last year's winner in our 2020 Lace Awards was The Mandalorian by Disney+. Mm-hmm. Plus. All right. So have you seen um, The Expanse on Amazon Prime? Have you watched the series? I've seen everything but Stowaway. Okay. So- and Stowaway, I think, is probably a uh, movie that's based on a story, a science fiction story. It is. And it, which is uh, something I read a long time ago, so I have a pretty good idea of what that's about. Stowaway is, is pretty creepy and pretty cool at the same time also. Uh, tomorrow Award, Snyder Cut. You like Snyder Cut, right? I, I like the Snyder Cut. You yes. like the Snyder Cut? Mm-hmm. Uh, Godzilla <clears throat> versus Kong, did you like that? I liked it. Yeah, that's one of those That's one of those ones you just sort of edge out in front of and enjoy all the destruction that happens <laughs> because that's what, that's what. But The Expanse, The Expanse is awesome because it, it tries to take in the actual physics of space flight. Correct. Okay. Well, you got the envelope there. So here let's we see, go. Right? Let's see who the winner is. Let's see. The winner of the Best Sci-Fi Award is the Tomorrow War Amazon Prime. The Tomorrow War Amazon Prime. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, that was an okay show. Chris Pratt, right? That was yeah. That was Chris Pratt. Chris and we Pratt. didn't. We didn't. He didn't get voted on because he's from around here, right? He didn't. He didn't get voted. Remember, we had that discussion. We had I, that discussion because I because I, I have a man crush on him, right? I, I've said that yeah, maybe yes. on the show yeah, before because I, I know him personally, not really personally, but through other people, and, and so uh, approximate person. Well, he, yeah, he grew. He he's about. Isn't he about your age or he a little is. bit younger? So I think he's about two years younger than me. Okay, yeah, and he grew up over here in Granite Falls and um, Lake, Stevens, Lake Stevens High School. Yep, yeah. that's correct. So he won that. That was unanimous from uh, all of us. I think everybody voted unanimously on that, except for you. You voted for the Snyder Cut, right? I I voted for the Snyder <laughs> Cut because you hate it. No, I do. I I didn't <laughs> think. I don't think it's that. I, I thought it was way better than the original one, but I, I still thought it was way overhyped. So that's yeah, that's well. correct. I enjoyed it. All uh, right, I, I'm going to watch Stowaway because that's that's Stowaway's good. Stowaway's good. Yeah, Stowaway's absolutely great. All right, so let me talk a little bit before this award before we uh, make any of the announcements and play it. So it's called the Social Streaming Award. This is a new category that specifically was created because of COVID nineteen. So this is the ability for you to actually watch a movie with somebody else in a different room. So let me talk a yeah. little bit. So Disney Plus account. Uh, does not have chat features, but has emojis, and you can sit in there and watch Disney+. Plus. If I have a Disney+, Plus account, you have a Disney+, Plus account, we could watch Loki together. Uh, we could not chat, but we could send we happy could, emojis and thumbs emojis. up Ooh, of, of up and down. Now, Hulu awesome. Watch Party has a chat feature and a catch-up <laughs> button feature, so streamers must have access to all paid access to Hulu in order to watch with a friend. So, again, if I have Hulu, you have to have Hulu when we watch it together. Amazon Watch Party has a chat feature and an option for creator of the watch party to have a playbook control. So streamers so they can kind of go forward and backward in the movie. So if I don't like something, I can skip over a segment or I can replay a segment over and over and over again. Streamers must have an Amazon Prime account and have or have rented the movie show and a private link is created. So yeah. I have to have the same but show. They're, that they're you all do. the same though. They all they all rely on because I tried doing this when I was dating. Okay. Right? I had this date, and we would, we, I think we were watching The Queen's Gambit, as a matter of fact. Okay. And there was no way to sync up what we were doing while being on a video feed. Everything had to be, like, with chats. Yep. So we were on Zoom trying to sync up our things, and, uh, like, hers would be, like, five minutes ahead of mine, and she was like, oh, wow, and I would be like, what happened? She was like... <laughs> Tell me, and I'm like, I'm not even there yet. <laughs> like, oh, well, you want me to pause it? It was just such a cluster. Okay, so Amazon has one. They can have up to 100 people. Let's talk about Netflix. Or, or actually, Netflix did not get nominated. So we have essentially Amazon, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, and the other one is Movies Anywhere. Uh, that can ho- host up to 10 people and have the access of movies anywhere to be rented. Again, you have to have the availability so that there is both people on the same platform. There is no chat feature for movies anywhere, and it only has emojis. So if you don't have chat, you're kind of eh, a little bit old. I mean, let's just do something. emojis. Ooh. That's right. Okay, let's now hear the nominees and let's get ready to pick this. And the nominees for the social streaming award are 
Disney Plus Group Watch, Hulu Watch Party, Movies Anywhere Watch Together, Amazon Watch Party. All right. Yeah, you like totally repeated that. Well, you know, I had that all. I had to do all the audio ahead of time, so all the audio. There you go. Yeah, all there right, now go. we're gonna open up the envelope here. Who won? And the winner is for the 2021 Lace Awards. Congratulations to Amazon Watch Party. <laughs> Amazon Watch Party wins. They are uh, able to have a hundred people. Uh, options to have chat features, and you can have the m- movie rented or owned to watch. But you have to have an Amazon Prime account. You do, but don't you have? Don't you have an Amazon Prime account? Yes, I do too. Uh, does anybody yeah, not I, have an Amazon? I, I don't Prime? know. I don't know if people don't. David, but... do you have an Amazon Prime account? Uh, we well, have one of those free trials going right now. But my daughter is the one that really has it. She has the student version of it. Okay, so I mean, everybody has it. So this is yeah. kind of so that's at least a little bit easier. It's like Netflix, it is. Why? How did Netflix not get on there? Well, Netflix's system. You just t- told me you were trying to watch the Queen's Gambit. Why didn't you watch it on the Netflix service? That's what we were doing. We were watching it yeah, and, via and Netflix. How, and how good did it work? It didn't work. Okay, well, that's why I think it. These, but, at least but, these four. I mean, these I, four at least about, I was talking about trying to do it via Zoom. Uh, so like, you, there should be there should be a. If you tried to do it on Netflix, it would have been just as horrible as you. It would have been it. the same thing. Yeah, but it was not good. The the whole thing. The, we were trying to be on on a on a platform so we could talk about the movie or the show as it was going, but it was a cluster because they weren't synced up. Amazon has done a fantastic job of this. If anything, I mean, we 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 kill on Amazon all the time here, right? Yeah, we're, we're not we're not big Jeff Bezos fans, are we? I I don't Jeff Jeff really doesn't affect my okay, life. Okay, that, or, or, know, we're not big we, Amazon fans. Necessarily. We, we we talk about the good stuff and the bad. Okay, stuff. Okay, okay. Well, I, we Amazon's not a big fan for me, but we, yeah, we I we use Amazon much just Prime. Dog on Facebook most of the time. <laughs> we do dog on Facebook. I, I don't like Facebook, but, <laughs> but uh, essentially. They spent a lot of time during COVID to make sure the system works. So they deserve that award. So yeah. I don't know if that award will ever be on again because that may just be COVID specific. I well, don't know. if we continue to move through all these variants, we're, we might be, be here for five years. That's right. It may be on there next year, too. All right. Well, let's move to our next award. And our next award before we do that is called, oh, this is our big one. These are the next two are our big one. This is the Best Picture Award. Mm. So let's talk about the previous winner. For the best picture <coughs> award was Greyhound by Apple TV uh, last year. So that was a great movie. Tom Hanks, phenomenal. Did you ever watch the Greyhound? No. Great movie. Great. You should watch that too. Apple TV. Although Apple TV, I I don't have that. You don't have that. I don't have that. Okay. TV. Well, I, I can help you out with that. Oh, so, I bet. So, so, so Greyhound's a good flick that you should watch. Um, this year's nominees are amazing, and and you know what? I have watched. Three of the four that are listed here, uh, and we're going to talk about them. And I think all of them deserve to be winners. Oh, they all get a, a they all get a participation trophy, but only one can win. So let's see it, what we got. That's not how it works. That's right. The nominees for the best picture award are The Trial of Chicago Seven, Netflix. We want to underscore again that we're coming to Chicago peacefully, but whether we're given permits or not, we're coming. We're going to Chicago to protest the Vietnam War. And there's no place to be right now but in it. We watched for a decade while these rebels without a job tell us how to prosecute a war. Because they're going to spend their 30s in a federal facility. The new day is dawning. Sound of Metal, Amazon Prime. Your hearing is deteriorating rapidly. We'll come back. Till then, Lou, we just keep going, okay? No. Lou, no. let's play tomorrow. Let's see what it's like, okay? I'm going to be like a click track. You can play to me. I care a lot. Netflix. My name is Marla Grayson. I'm just someone who cares. Marla Grayson, you've had amazing success. What's your secret? There is no secret, Peter. She forces them into the home, auctions off their house, and uses the proceeds to pay herself. Because caring is my job. I don't lose. I won't lose. 
I'm never letting you go. Extraction. Netflix. You want to survive, you do exactly as I say. Who are you? Name? Obi. Move fast. Stay low. Something's wrong. What is it? You rescue people. Sometimes. Sometimes I do other things. Is that Chris Hemsworth? Yeah, that's that's, that's okay. Thor. That's Thor, buddy. All right. All right, here we go. We got an award? I have the envelope. Okay, let's take a look at who the winner is. Let's see. Best Picture Award goes to I Care A Lot on Netflix. I Care A Lot on Netflix. I have seen none of these movies. You have seen none of these movies? No. Oh, you got to go see. I, I got... I might have to watch that I Care A Lot. That sound that sounded actually pretty interesting. It did sound interesting, didn't it? Yeah. It's about a lady that goes in and I think she takes over. I have not seen it myself either. Uh, I think she takes over like older individuals' homes and something like that. And then she ends up moving them into retirement centers and taking all their money. And selling them and yep. pocketing the proceeds. All right. And we're up to our final award here. Let's start out with the Master Award. And now we have the final nominees in the best overall streaming service, the Master Award. Amazon Prime Video, Sling TV, Disney Plus, HBO Max. All right, I got the envelope here. This is the big one. Sling TV, huh? How did that make it on there? Well, Sling TV was nominated because it has all of the uh, sports channels and everything. Oh, because we, we, none of the things we've covered had Sling TV at all. I did. You know, that some of the nominees are uniquely different. It's, it okay. doesn't mean that it always has to be. Last year's winner, Netflix, was not even on this list. I noticed. All right, here we go. And the winner is... HBO Max. What? HBO Wax what? Max. Well, you it know what? It could be Disney Plus. No, it's not Disney Plus. It has not- to, man, Disney Plus has to be because Disney Plus has everybody. Well, you know what? HBO Max was the exclusive provider to do the real releases of the theaters at the same time, <laughs> which probably gave That's it true. Which probably gave but, it a huge advantage. But Disney Plus is one of those too. Well, Disney Plus wasn't it? Uh, Black Widow that yeah. came out on Disney Plus. Yeah, you know, yeah, that she, yeah, and that Scarlett she Johansson. Him? Yeah, she sued him. him. So let me just tell you, Disney Plus, maybe I'm a runner up, maybe a bridesmaid two, two years yeah, in a row. Whatever. Okay, those were our 2021 Lace Awards. We got a commercial break, and when we come on back, we got Microsoft in the 1990s. Hello, my name is Arthur, and my life's work is connecting people with coffee. Story Coffee is a small batch specialty coffee company that uses technology to connect people to each product resource, which allows farmers to unlock their economic freedom. Try our medium roast founder series coffee, which is an exotic bourbon variety that is smooth, fresh, and elegant at storycoffee.com. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Today, you can get your first bag free when you subscribe at storycoffee.com with code TECHTIME. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Hi, this is Lisa Downs, host of Reigniting You, a new show here on KKNW that explores a variety of topics and timely issues for making mid to late career transitions. I'll be here every Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock bringing you guest interviews, career transition advice, and great stories to guide you to what's next in your career and life. Gain a renewed sense of purpose for your next phase with a positive, forward-looking approach. Get ready to be re-energized, recharged, and reignited Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. Hey, babe, I hear that you can download a new voice on Siri. No way. Yes, it's true. It's a voice that goes, hey, you big honk. What do you want to do and where do you want to go? Stop it. Oh, God. (laughs) Okay, I'm kidding. What has tech ever done for our relationships? Mm, We can't talk about that on the radio. If you want to eavesdrop on juicy conversations that no one is having around all things love, sex, and relationships, join us right here 1 p.m. on KKNW and wherever you get your podcast. We look forward to seeing you in the love shack. 
Your business deserves the same expertise as that of a Fortune 500 company. If you need a CIO-level service, why hire a full-time staff member at $250,000 a year when you can get this on-demand service for fractions of the cost? As your CIO on demand, we'll give you the steps you need to take so as to minimize interruption to your business and profitability and provide you and your business with training and education to prevent future attacks. To get an efficiency review for your business today, contact us at www.ee-services.com. The year is 1996. President Clinton beats Bob Dole to continue his second term in office. In mid-February, the interactive media division is created. It consists of MSN, the MSN online service games and kids titles, and the information businesses from the now-dissolved consumer division. In early March, Microsoft announces point-to-point -point tunneling protocol. PPTP is a new networking technology that supports multi-protocol virtual private networks. Two days after that, on March 6, Microsoft Internet Explorer version 2.0 for Windows 95 is made, available in 22 languages. As the leaves begin to fall in November, Microsoft Flight Simulator for Windows 95 releases, marking the first time in its 14-year history that the product is available on the Windows platform. Days later, on November 12, Microsoft's board of directors approves a two-for-one stock split. 96 has come to an end, but 1997 promises two giant releases from Microsoft and an acquisition that will become one of the best known components of the Microsoft network. Microsoft ushered in the new year with the January 16th release of Office 97, the new version of the world's best-selling productivity suite. On February 7th, Microsoft unveils its Actimate's early learning system. Now this system is a combination of products that work with the personal computer or the VCR. Microsoft, through a licensing agreement with the Lions Group, presents Purple Dinosaur Barney as the first Actimates interactive character. Later, Microsoft signs an agreement to acquire Web TV Networks for approximately $425 million in stock and cash. On the final day of 1997, Microsoft announces it has acquired Hotmail, the award-winning free web-based email service. The December 31st purchase is a major milestone for the company as Hotmail will become an important component of the Microsoft network that Microsoft offers free to all internet users. All right. All so right. It's 1996. Yep. And to put a little bit more context into that, uh, the top television programs there were ER, Ooh. Friends, Ooh. Seinfeld. Oh, I love Seinfeld. And premiering was Spin City and Everybody Loves Raymond. Wow. And also... Quake, the first person shooter came oh, out. Oh, that was one of my favorite games it, of all that, time. That's the very first, isn't that the very first one? Well, they had Wolfenstein, right? That's so, right, Wolfenstein. Uh, Wolfenstein was, was kind of the first, yeah. but Quake was like the very first one where you could actually dial up with a modem and right. play online against somebody and, and, and kill each other. That was where the term camper came out. Campers. That's yes. where you'd be in a corner in the middle of nowhere where oh, you yeah, could see we, each other. Yeah, we get that all the time on Sea of Thieves. That's right. So what was 1996 like there, Nathan? 1996 was a big time in Nathan's life. I was working in, in the ITG Cons, COS, Customer Service Group. Scotty was my uh, uh, boss at the time, and I essentially became a full-time Microsoft employee. All right. 1996, I was in charge of most of the laptop purchases at Microsoft at the time, and I would actually do an evaluation of all the hardware for the laptops to give the... Uh, procurement group approval to purchase laptops and to make sure that they were available, the best laptops, which at that time was a Toshiba laptop available at the company. I, I actually think I have an old Toshiba laptop at home. In 1996, they were kind of at 95, 96, 97. They were the laptop of choice at the time. Yeah, they were the big, heavy, clunky things. They were, absolutely. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So how did that? How did that year end? Is so that, there anything special that happened? So a year ended. So it was a great year. Uh, I got to go to my very first Microsoft uh, party in the summertime, which is their summer party picnics uh, were unbelievable. Twenty vendors with food. You could eat all that you want. Um, that cr year at the end, they had a huge Christmas party. We had a huge. Mm -hmm. Item And essentially, I was offered a job a little bit before that in the executive support group that I turned down. 
And essentially, with a little bit of alcohol in me, I went up to the person, her name was Judy, and said I would be interested in continuing as I was filling in an executive support group, and I would be willing to go full-time. Okay, so you initially turned it down. And I turned it down. Back, I didn't want to do it. It's 24-7. You, li- you got some liquid courage, and I you did. went back and got it it's back. A, at the Christmas event, I went up to the gal, and she said, listen, I've been trying to get you to do this for two months. And she said, so now you're going to do it? I said, well, a little bit of liquor in me. And I said, sure, let's do it. She's like, okay, well, then you're going to start the next day. And so the <laughs> next day, I got transferred there you go. up to the new office in Imperial Square. You, you, might, want to, to you might want to consider what liquor does to your life. Well, so, uh, you, I don't know. It does a pretty good job. It did a good okay job. Yeah. Okay. So do we want to talk about a little bit about 1997? Sure, well, how, did, how did that start? 1997 is a big bang. So now all of a sudden we're, I'm up working with these elite people. Essentially it was a list of about 100 people that were VP titles and above. Mm-hmm. And they would call us. And we had one of the very first Motorola flip phones. And we would answer the flip phone. We wouldn't do email as much, but answer the flip phone. And we would take care of all of the top brass at Microsoft, the top 100 yeah, employees is, yeah, and yeah. their admins. This is this is the stories you get from talking, you know, you have to go and fix so-and-so's computer down the hall and yep. then fix so-and-so's computer 50 yards away and Bill Gates's computer over there. In the- so so we would get calls from everybody. So, mm-hmm. we, I mean, there was this guy that's named David Vaskovich. I don't want to put him on the name on the air, but I just did. So he would call us all the time, and he, and he was always working on some new uh, product, and he would load some beta OS on his machine. It wouldn't work, and then he'd, like, come on over here. It needs to get fixed. We were really doing a lot of ISDN installs at the time. So this is so, when this is when technology was starting to speed up, and each of these individuals had ISDN cards at their home. So homes. here's the question that comes to mind. I think I asked this last. You have all these people that created all this stuff. Yep. Why are they calling somebody else to come and fix their stuff? <laughs> Them and their admins, because you know what? Just because you create something really uh, great and and knowledgeable doesn't mean you actually know how the system <laughs> works itself. So I can tell you story after story after story, and we are going to be really excited to continue this series next week in 1997, um, where I'm going to talk <laughs> a lot about executive support services, some of the stuff I did. I worked with a great group of individuals, Jim Keith and myself were kind of the three people that were up there. Our group expands mm-hmm. and moves from Imperial Square to Building 24, and we got some awesome stories that will still be kind of undercover, so I won't get too much in trouble with any NDAs that I w- would have maybe signed. Okay. All right. Okay. We look forward to that. All right. Well, you know what? You should, because it's going to be some crazy times. That 1997, 98, 99 were just crazy. So... I am Nathan Mum. We got David Brown that did a fantastic job. Good job with the Lace Awards there, David. Congratulations. Yay, that's a golf clap. Fantastic. That's not a golf clap. This is a golf clap. Okay, that's a golf clap. All right, we got Mike Roday over here, myself. We enjoyed you watching Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that mmm moment in technology today we also have a few other ways to stay connected including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from apple to google and everything in between and also signing up on our youtube page where you get to see us live in video yep you can see us chat and have some fun it's youtube.com slash tech time radio all one word we hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you From all of us at Tech Time Radio, remember, mum's the word. Have a safe and fantastic week.